Hey there, Scorpio. This is your general reading for the month of September 2018. Let's check out what your energies are looking like. Scorpio for September 2018. Please remember that this is a general reading. Not all messages will resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed, liked, shared, commented, requested personal readings. I absolutely appreciate all of you. Everyone who sent me gifts and happy birthday well wishes. You guys are the best. Let's get to it. Scorpio energies for September 2018. What's up with Scorpio? What is going on for Scorpio? September 2018. Overall energies, no need to worry. Okay, worried about money, worried about job, worried about your home, your future, current state of affairs. We'll clarify that in just a minute. Let's see, Scorpio, September 2018. Communicate clearly. One more card. The situation will improve. Okay. Whatever this situation is for you guys, the clarity, the improvement will come from your communication. It is crucial. It is very important that you communicate clearly. You say what you mean. You mean what you say. Be careful with miscommunications. Be careful with not fully informing others of what you want, what your expectations are, where you want to go from here. Now remember that part of being able to communicate clearly is to be able to listen carefully and clearly so that you absorb the information that is given to you so that you can therefore communicate clearly and effectively. Whatever the situation is that has been wearing you down, the situation will improve and the communication is key here. So let's see, what have you been worried about, Scorpio? What has Scorpio been worried about in the month of September 2018? Yeah, stagnant energy. You've been thinking and overthinking about a particular situation and how to move forward. It's always good to take the time to really think about it. But when you sit there taking too long in thinking about the situation, this becomes a self-imposed prison. You feel chained up. You feel just bound and restricted. However, these swords are not restricting. They're all in your head because you're blindfolded right now. And so these eight swords, they're floating around you, but they're not holding you down. There's a lot of truth that it needs to be revealed here. You may feel chained to a specific situation. It's time you break away from those chains. It's time to move forward. Really think about where you want to be, where you want to go. Get clear. Admit the truth to yourself. Realize the truth of the situation. Be very, very clear with what you want, how you want to do things, how you want to manifest, what you want to manifest, and communicate your wishes clearly. Look, there you are. This is something in regards to being successful, leaning towards success, you're trying to maintain your decorum. There is something that has been worrying you for some time. Anxiety, sleepless nights, trying to figure out how to move forward and how you want to communicate that. There is some level of justice that you want to hand down to someone or something, or this is justice that's coming down to you. If you have a pending court case, pending battle, divorce, something that has to do with the legal system. Communicate clearly. The situation will improve. You believe and I feel that you are overthinking every single 
component, every single part of the situation to the point where there are minor details that you may be over contemplating, you may be over worrying about it. And once this is all over and done with, you'll realize that you put yourself through so much worry. Sleepless nights, anxiety. I'm feeling you're very exhausted. Yeah, see, you're very exhausted. It's like being up all night, working through the night, burning the midnight oil. You feel as though you're about to uncover something huge. And this is what's going to catapult you. You've got three eights here. Eight of pentacles, eight of cups, and eight of swords. This is you getting closer to the bigger picture, the end result. Communicate clearly. This is has to do with something that wasn't being done correctly, wasn't being done right. Perhaps something, some situation where... This was something going against you, against nature, against the law. This is something that has to do with your financial stability. You're very wrapped up emotionally in this situation as well. You're working, staying up all night, sleepless nights. You can't even sleep at night. You stay up all night working on it. You're so exhausted. By the time you get to bed, you feel as though you can't even get restful sleep because you're still thinking and worrying about this situation. But it's time to cut out the bullshit and move forward. Communicate clearly. Take that sword. Cut out the unnecessary. Say what you got to say. Do what you got to do. Speak what you got to say. Okay? The situation will improve for you, Scorpio. Let's see. What is this? Yeah. Ace of Cups. So the situation will improve if this has to do with your love life. You have a new offer, a new beginning of love. If this is in business or in a career, job, school, education, you move towards something that you love. If you are feeling very stressed out, feeling as though nothing is working out for you, emotionally discontented, and you're just like, when is this going to get better? Overrun by anxiety, mixed emotions, wanting to do the right thing and wanting to walk away at the same time. And it's like, do I battle this? Do I let it go? What do I do? The situation will improve. Make sure that you know your truth. You own your truth. Move forward. Communicate clearly. Don't don't over over worry. Don't stress yourself out. This is you you it turns into self-destructive mode. The more you worry, the more you nitpick at every single little detail that you're afraid might come up when you get to court if you have to go to court, a hearing of some sort. You may be focusing on every single little detail of the matter, afraid that something might come back and bite you in the ass, but it's not, not everything will come up. Once you communicate clearly what the situation is, where you've been, where you want to go, what resolution you want, get to the point, cut to the chase, get there, and the situation will improve. Yeah, stand your ground. You know what it is you want. You know what, what solution that you've been wanting here. The steps that need to be taken. You know what that is. Yes, be prepared for what might come up. However, don't drown yourself in the details. You know, when someone goes to court, unless you're an attorney, when someone goes to court, they only give you a certain amount of time to speak. Unless you're an attorney, you got opening arguments, closing arguments, whatever it is that you need to discuss. You've been working all night on this specific case, or if this is you, you're going to court, you're going to a hearing of some sort. There, There is no point in going through every single detail that probably won't even come up. And you're up all night, working yourself to the bone, feeling exhausted. I'm feeling the exhaustion for you. I feel some of you are going to defend your 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 situation. There is a need to be defensive here. 
I feel as though you're fighting to work with someone. You're fighting to get along. You're fighting to continue a specific relationship or partnership. How do we come back together? How do we make this work? I don't want to lose out on an opportunity. I want to make this work. And if I have to work all night to create this powerful, passionate new beginning, then so be it. That's what Scorpio's got going on in the month of September, standing their ground, fighting, fighting for what they believe in, fighting for their own opportunities. What else does Scorpio need to know? Give me some messages for Scorpio. What's the most important message Scorpio needs to know? <laughs> the juggling act comes to an end. If you've been balancing or juggling, not really balancing because one's about to fall. If you've been juggling two options, two careers, two jobs, two relationships, two different opportunities one of them is about to come to the forefront you're going to drop the other one release yourself from the stress from the pain from the discomfort and keep moving forward look at that two of cups your partnership grows stronger when you drop one of these pentacles it is in your best interest and another two. So this is very much about strengthening a partnership with someone at work, a partnership in business, a relationship. Finally, choosing a path that you want to take that will strengthen this partnership. And by doing so, you drop one of these pentacles and you drop the juggling act. It all comes to an end. You have a powerful and peaceful resolution. This does turn into something more meaningful something with life to it, something that you love, that you've been waiting for. So no need to worry. Make sure you communicate clearly. The situation will improve. Remember that. I'm going to pull an angel message card before I pull a love oracle card to close out your reading. An angel message from your angels. What message does Scorpio need to hear for September 2018? Angel Vanessa, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? So if you are juggling two relationships, two jobs, two situations, two roads, two paths, two different things that you really need to make a decision on, Perhaps you're stuck in stagnant indecision. You're not sure which path to take. You're not sure which of these two people you should be with. You're not sure which of these two jobs you should keep. Always lean towards the one that brings you peace, love, and happiness because it brings you towards your divine purpose. If you stick with something and just stick it out for the purpose of sticking it out because you don't want it to fall apart, you don't want it to end, but it doesn't make you happy, it brings you grief, it brings you misery, then that is not the path for you. This is too many cards. Send me one card for Scorpio, please. One card for Scorpio. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. Now, when I clarified all these cards, it was evident that you were just burning the midnight oil. You were working yourself to the bone up all night, hardly getting any sleep. Once this is over and done with, the decision is made, the court case is settled, whatever it may be, this court case, this hearing, this 
mediation, whatever it may be, you have a specific meeting, a program, something that is pending for you. A huge decision needs to be made. And when this is all over and done with, you will feel your body ready to give. It is time for rest and relaxation. It is essential. In order for you to be your best you, you need to take care of yourself too. Overworking yourself, running yourself to the bone, working yourself to till you can't take it anymore. That doesn't that doesn't bring about clarity. That brings about exhaustion. So that is your reading, Scorpio. Please be sure. No need to worry. Communicate clearly. The situation will improve. Please keep that in mind. Stay optimistic about your outlook. The key here is to communicate clearly. Communicate, speak, listen, compromise, whatever needs to happen. Plan things out, map things out. But above all, take care of yourself or you won't be able to communicate. The situation will improve. Okay, Scorpio. So if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can find my information in the description box below. You can also find me on instagram.com at virgo angel tarot where i do post almost daily and i do weekly live readings there please make sure you like share comment and subscribe let me know if this resonated with you i really appreciate everyone's feedback thank you so much for tuning in and uh, yeah let's see how your love reading goes i'm doing that next talk to you soon bye